Hello everyone, this is Moses from Zatar Gardens. Uh, I had a question asked of me. In the back over here I have three plants that are called purple tree collards. You can see them on the floor, on the ground, covered underneath the fig and the pomegranates. Um, very sweet tasting perennial edible green. Beautiful as well, but more more in the late fall and winter. It's really purple and really sweet. But um, typically what happens, especially with collards or kale or the brassica family, uh, broccoli and such, um, you would have this uh, cabbage moth, this white butterfly, land on it, lay their eggs, and caterpillars would get ha hatch and it wreak havoc everywhere. You, you would have no, no plants whatsoever to eat, no greens. Well, I was asked, how can I have mine so lush and untouched all year round? There's, there's some holes here and there, but compared to others that I've seen and the person that has talked to me, uh, they would come to, let me, sh I don't know if I could, yeah, this is from a bird, not from bugs but you see how the, the stems are all just left the, the leaf is gone right there that's how they look from caterpillars so when you, you turn over a leaf from theirs and it would be like like six seven caterpillars on each leaf so the way I do it is I grow a lot of plants as you know uh, known as zatar and one of them is hyssop right here I cut a bunch of it Beautiful, beautiful plant. I'll zoom in a little bit more. You can see it. Beautiful. And it smells, some people say it smells like skunk. It does smell like skunk. Skunk spray, that is. So, and I read somewhere a long time ago, I think it was about four years ago, that if you plant hyssop, specifically hyssop, I think I may butcher this name, but I think the name of this plant is Hyssopus officinalis. Um, if you plant it amongst your brassicas or cut it and throw it in the brassica area, the caterpillars and or the cabbage moth or the butterfly will go away or get deterred. So that's all I do. I started doing it two years ago, really like a lot and it worked. Oh man, it smells like skunk really bad. Maybe that's why they run away. Let me walk around. Here's my pomegranates, as you can see. There's a lot right there. Look at how many just hanging. Pretty nice, huh? Everywhere. Anyways, throw the rest over here. Just, I don't want to throw it on top. Throw it in there. Put in the base, throw it on it. And that's it. Beautiful. So that's one of my tricks. Is it flowering? That's crazy. That's crazy. Huh. Anyways, I don't want to take away from it. Oh, look at this cluster. So pretty cool. All right, yeah, so that's another little trick. So if you had grow brassica, grow some hyssop, throw it amongst your brassicas, you'll be fine. Well, hopefully, it worked for me. All right, everyone, catch you later. Happy gardening. Bye.